Hello, Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in here with Team 67, the hot team, at the first in Michigan Ann Arbor District events. The Heroes of Tomorrow built a nice machine this year, compact, fast, really unique trap mechanism. Here we have Colin, Will, Maya, and Ben to tell us more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Colin, why don't you get us started? Give us an overview of the robot. All right, so this is the Hotbot 24. We're gonna take a brief overview of it, starting at the bottom. So down here, you'll see that we have our swerve drive. We've gotten a lot faster this year. We can go up to 20 feet per second. I've done a lot of optimization work as well. Moving up, our shooter has uh, two speeds on each side to put spin on the rings, so it can be really precise and really fast. Moving up from that, we have been able to trap very early on and also been able to amp very early on as well, extremely effectively. So doing that, this trap, very lightweight, very powerful as well. Besides that, you can't do the trap without the climber. So our climber is powered off of, actually I'll go over here. Our climber is powered off of two-way pulley. It goes up, climbs onto it, and that's basically our robot. So I see a lot of 3D printing carbon fiber here in the middle on the armavator. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that mechanism works and then maybe a demo? Yeah, of course. So um, this is our armavator uh, taken away from the robot. And our goal with this is to say very lightweight, very precise, and then also work very, very fast. So if we can come over here, um, you'll notice that this entire mechanism is only powered by one motor. And we wanted to keep this light by doing that. So to do it, we have it so that if we can show me over here, as we go forward, this track pushes back against our robot, allowing this to not actuate. And then uh, one of our sponsors called Azoth has given us lots of access to 3D printed parts and SLS printing. That's made this extremely light lightweight and robust. That's awesome. Colin, what do you have to tell us about the robot? So as Colin glanced over in his overview, we decided on a very, uh, very fast drivetrain this year. We're running West Coast products for modules on a very high gear ratio. We've got, if for those of you who are familiar with the SCF gear sets, we're running a gear ratio that's a little higher than the L4s. We've got uh, inverted swerve modules on almost every side of the robot, except on our intake side, where we have to uninvert two of the motors to make room for our intake. Our robot is able to go about 21, 22 feet per second uh, at the beginning of the match. Um, and we use society tuning to tune in a bunch of our gains. Uh, just between our, this competition uh, and the last competition, we gained three or four feet per second just from doing the tuning. Very impressive. Thank you, Will. Maya, do you want to tell us a little bit more about the uh, programming that goes into this robot? So the programming this year is completely different. We use a completely di different command system, We're still using Java like normal, but a lot of this robot is built in the code that ARM has to feed the note through the shooter into the handoff to be able to put it into the trap or the amp. So if you take a look, we have this long handoff sequence that allows us to go. And then we move the arm further forward to go to the trap or to go to the amp. Very impressive. I hear you guys have a very high success rate with the trap and that's serving you well in matches. Anything else cool you'd like to tell us about the programming or optimization that you guys do? Uh, our, dri our driver station is state of the art. We have an auton selector, and one sensor that tells us if we have a ring or not that, <laughs> that we use all the time that our drivers totally look at. And we've got LEDs around the robot to tell us if our camera is seeing April tags and to know if we have a ring or not. Awesome. Thank you so much for telling me all about that. Ben, do you want to wrap it up for us? Tell us a little bit more. So yeah, we have an under bu the bumper intake over here uh, that's run off of one Kraken with a, a, a belt like between all the uh, rollers. Uh, and then we have this slurper which can come down and helps assist our uh, ring getting into our robot. Uh, so yeah, it feeds in. There's a sensor up here, which like like uh, she said, uh, lets us know if there's a robot in, or a uh, ring inside of the robot. And then climbers, okay, yeah. So these climbers have a linear uh, spring on each side to pull it up. And then they have a, 
they have a two-way uh, school uh, to help uh, guide it easily. And then they hook on and then drive it down. And then these flip out, as you saw, uh, once they lift the uh, hooks up to go under the stage and help stabilize the robot as it climbs. Thank you very much, Hot Team. You guys built an awesome robot this year. Already one district win under your belts and doing great here at Ann Arbor. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and best of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.